This morning, we're talking tech. Believe it or not, at one time, it was a very big deal to be able to put a piece of paper in a machine and copy it. Now we do it every day. At New England Tech, they are copying and printing engineering designs in 3D with cutting edge technology, and they want to teach you how to do it. Imagine having a design idea and being able to print it out. You can with 3D printing for engineering students at New England Tech. With the 3D processing, you keep it in-house, you just email it, it prints it. If you decide, oh, that's not quite what I wanted, it's not what it, I thought it would look like, you can make it an adjustment and reprint it. For small businesses and large ones, this technology will save millions in design. It uses a fused deposited uh, material process. Uh, we use ABS plastic. There are other machines out there that use different materials. And with it, it kind of looks like weed whacker line. And it will melt it to a very uh, small thread. Uh, it can go down to seven thousandths of an inch. And then it will go back and forth and the layers will adhere to each other as the machine's printing. Companies are able to send their design in STL format and upload it to the printer. Well, there's pretty much the limit of your imagination because it's additive. You don't have the limitations of tools getting in the way or geometries getting in your way. It prints it layer by layer and thereby you can make a full assembly uh, all at once and then once it's done printing, it, you can move it. So you can print a wrench that actually will open and close and function right from uh, the machine. One of the courses for engineering students is quality control. One course that I teach here is quality control, which just basically gives us a chance to really observe the process of manufacturing and understand it and control it to make sure that we don't have a lot of deviations from the norm and that what we're doing is cutting edge and it's really a step above all the rest so we keep our customers. Students at New England Tech find this printer key to having an edge in the field. It's really been a great experience here. Uh, I'm a very visual learner, so being able to think of a design in my head put it on paper, put it into the computer, and then a week after, hold it in my hand. It's a great experience for me. I'm hoping to go straight into the field. I want to be a designer, work with other people on creating new things to make our world run smoother. Machines like this that they have at New England Tech can take an idea from the computer to actually printing it and holding it in your hand in about 20 hours old way of doing it was sending your drawings to a manufacturing facility, wait for a prototype to be made, bring it back. If there are changes that need to be made, you have to update your drawings, send the documents back to that shop for a prototype. New England Tech stays on the cutting edge so their students have the advantage when it comes to getting a job. It's amazing. It's one of the most amazing things about this, and that's why I love not only being a teacher here, but also a student, because it is so cutting edge. You know, we're watching technology just change so quickly that this is our opportunity to take advantage of that. Pretty amazing stuff. 3D printing will save companies millions in production costs, and New England Tech has the cutting edge technology for their students to work and train on before they get into the field. And if you want more information about this technology and New England Tech, you can head to our website, WPRI.com, and click on the Roadshow.